Welcome to another episode of Medicine Simplified. In this video, we will look at types of synovial joints. So, what is synovial joint? Synovial joints are most common and freely movable joints, which are also known as diarthroidal joints. These joints possess a cavity, and articular end of bones forming the joint are enclosed in fibrous capsule. So, the two bones which forming the joint are enclosed in fibrous capsule. This fibrous joint capsule is continuous with periosteum of joint bone, which forms outer boundary of synovial cavity. Fibrous capsule is lined by synovial membrane and contains synovial fluid in cavity. Coming to the characteristics features of synovial joints, articular surfaces are covered by thin plate of hyaline cartilage. Joint cavity is enveloped by articular capsule, which consists of outer fibrous membrane and inner synovial membrane. Cavity of joint is lined everywhere by synovial membrane, except over articular cartilage. Synovial fluid secreted by synovial membrane provides nutrition and lubrication to articular surface. Coming to the types of synovial joints, there are seven types of synovial joints. First one is plain joint. In this type of joints, articular surface are more or less flat. They permit gliding movements in various directions. Example are intercarpal joints, intertarsal joints. Next is hinge joint. In this type of joints, articular surfaces are fully shaped. This type of joints permit movement in one plane around transverse axis. This movement consists of flexion and extension. Example are elbow joint and knee joint. Next is pivot joint. In this type of joints, articular surface of one bone is rounded and fits into concavity of another bone. Movement is limited to rotation around a central axis. Example of joints between proximal ends of radius and ulna. Next is condylar joint. In this type of joints, round articular surface of one bone fits into socket type articular surface of another bone. End of bone bearing around articular surface is called condyle. This joint permit movement in two directions. Example, temporomandibular joint and knee joint. Next is ellipsoid joint. In this type of joints, elliptical convex surface of one bone articulates with elliptical concave surface of another bone. Movements are permitted in two directions. Example are wrist joint, metacarpo and metatarsophalangeal joints. Next type of joint is saddle joint. In this type of joints, articular surfaces are reciprocally saddle shaped, that is concave or convex. Example of joint between trapezius and metacarpal bones of thumb and sternoclavicular joint. Final one is ball and socket joint. This joint consists of a bone with ball shaped head that attaches with cup shaped cavity of another bone. This type of joint allows for a wider range of motion than any other kind. It permits movements in all planes and rotational movements around axis. Example, hip and shoulder joints. These are types of synovial joints. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.